Hi guys, <coughs> just going to do a quick uh, little upload. Japanese um, onions. Um, and I'm basically, as you can see, I'm putting them into these recyclable little cups. So I'm going to pop you up there and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. He says, if you can't, I do apologise, but let's move you down there. You might be able to see a bit more down here. So. Right guys, this is all I'm doing. Um, basically, taking them out gently. <coughs> Good root systems on these. Just sprinkling the soil away. And then just teasing them apart gently. And what I tend to do with these, don't have to, I tend to do and get my scissors if I can find them and I tend to um, trim some excess off here I'll give them a bit of a haircut <coughs> it makes it a bit easier to get them in the pots and then I'm just going to tease them all apart just gently don't force them same as you would any normal onion or leek uh, and all I'll do I'll clean any rubbish off any of the tips where they're sort of dying off here I'll just snip them off and what you should do what you should say uh, you should see some new shoots coming up. I don't think there's any on here yet, but uh, and basically, same as you would do a leak. I've just dipped a little hole in there, put the roots in, just to give it a little twizzle, and that's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to grow them on. <coughs> Again, another one, just. What I tend to do is at a little angle, so if it gets wet when they're outside, which I shouldn't do, obviously, um, it doesn't stick on the top. And again, there's another one done. It doesn't take too long, but it means that they've got a bit more soil now. Fresh soil. But there's quite a few in here, actually. So, we'll get on with this, and I'll come back to you when I've actually done them all. Okay, cheers guys. Well guys, um, just finished doing those onions now. I'll show you, do a quick twizzle round and uh, show you what I've done. And um, hopefully yeah, give you an idea what I'm doing. Um, I actually bought these. I didn't grow these myself, but these are from Asda. Uh, Japanese onions. Um, we'll see how they get on. Um, all the other stuff I've got, I've grown from seed myself, but um, I haven't been able to get any onion sets um, as 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 yet, and won't get any this side of Christmas now anyway. Um, so they'll do me. Um, I've got loads of garlics uh, in, loads of garlics coming in post from DT Brown, which I didn't realise actually buy all their uh, garlic from the Isle of Wight garlic farm. So I normally buy them from the Isle, Isle of Wight garlic farm and uh, I couldn't get exactly what I wanted and I'd run out of elephant garlic anyway so I bought an autumn planning pack and planning planning pack what the hell raw, 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 that image the pub was it shut um it's an autumn planting um set for garlic and it includes 10 elephant garlic cloves so with the three I've got there there'll be 13 so that'll do me plenty and uh, if I get them in now then look at well hopefully with the cold, cooler weather, they'll actually um, split. Um, don't ask me the technical word, you know, technical term for it, but for garlic to actually split to close, but it has to be minus or 
not necessarily minus minus but very cold for so many days and it sets it off into some form of weird and wonderful thing and it, it basically splits into clothes if you plant them like i've been doing the last few years because i'm so been so late in the warmer warmer weather they don't split so you get a big monoball or monobulb sorry um so it's one big bulb you can plant them on again actually and uh, get the ball balls off them as i call them and uh, and, and start start them again um but this year hopefully i'll get some uh, some of the elephant garlic breaking into obviously into big cloves and uh, a couple of those bulbs uh, you're talking eight cloves a piece normally so that's 16 for next year uh, for the year after so uh, that'll save me buying any more and then uh, and then do that each year and uh, thinking about it you know if I've got 13 it's going to be 130 cloves if I say if I do half of those 60 60 plants for the following year and if they do even do five each that's 300 cloves so you can you can build up your own stock of um, garlic um, cloves and uh, you can actually give them to, to friends to grow uh, fellow plotman holders and do a bit of a swapsies um, and that's what I used to do actually up Tibidale. I used to put them in early and uh, I used to get a really 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 good uh, result on them and uh, I used to plant them on again the next year and uh, although I did still carry on buying some stuff from the Isle of Wight garlic farm because keep them in business and also they are top quality absolute top quality I couldn't say enough about the uh, Isle of Wight uh, garlic farm absolutely wonderful and if you've ever if you ever have a chance to visit the Isle of Wight um, on holiday um, you must you must go to um, their wonderful um, place that they've got um, which is um, it's in, in in a little bit from um, I'm gonna get this right now so I haven't been for a few years Shanklin and Sundown, um, it's that side of the island and it's just in a bit, um, you can't miss it, it's, it's signposts everywhere, the brown signs, the heritage signs, the, and it's a wonderful place and if you go in the summer you can go on a little, uh, you can have a walk around uh, the whole place where they were growing them as well as um, going on a little tractor type of trailer, um, they've got a lovely restaurant there, everything is obviously got garlic in it. <laughs> including the garlic ale or garlic beer which is really really nice um, but yeah and they've got a little uh, sort of I was gonna say it's um, a visitor center type of thing and it tells you the history of garlic and uh, tells you um, where it comes from Afghanistan apparently and uh, the guy that uh, runs the place now he actually found um, some uh, garlic in, in Afghanistan he was on the search for the, uh, the original garlic and he found it and it's actually a little video on there um, and I'm sure those that are regular YouTubers have uh, seen the update that um, Sean Cameron did uh, a while back and he had somebody from the Isle of Wight Garlic Farm on live on the Sunday uh, on one of his podcasty type of things on the Sunday evening and um, and it's, it's really interesting and uh, and it tells a story actually about uh, about when garlic actually came over to this country i don't know exact i can't remember i mean i remember i, I did see this when it was first uh, just opened up the visitor center but it talks about um in the war or something about somebody he used to drop spies or whatever behind enemy lines in the plane and that and uh, he landed and uh, i think he was french or the french were were, were yearning for garlic and we didn't really grow garlic over here and uh, apparently he flew over there and he flew the uh, the two uh, spies over or whatever uh, and they gave him a sack of garlic and he brought the garlic back on the way home back over to Britain well England and uh, and apparently whether it's true or not um, that's where they started to grow garlic down south it's a lovely story <laughs> Whether it's true or not, I'm not too sure, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's a lovely story. Um, so if you do get a chance, please go and visit there. It's a wonderful uh, heritage site. It's really, really nice, and uh, you'd have a nice afternoon out there, especially if the weather's nice. But anyway, quickly show you this before I carry on rabbiting. Here we go. Right, so that's the last uh, seven there. So we've got quite a few seven there 
So I think there's 20 in each of these. Yeah, so that's 20, 40, 60, 67. So I've got 67 there. So they'll stay in there. I'm just going to give them a tinkle of water, although the soil's a little bit, the compost was a little bit damp. I'll give them a quick tinkle of uh, water and then that's it then. They won't get any more for a while. So I'll bring those others over. Uh, these are Arctic King lettuce. Uh, I've got to get some of these out because they're getting a bit dried out and mushy, so, so to speak. So it's more Arctic King there. Uh, Lola Rossa, some more Lola Rossa still there. Some of that's going to go out in, go in here. But uh, I've got to wet all this soil again. It's had 30 litres of, of, um, of water over the last few days. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I know what I didn't do yesterday because I sat here and did this. I pruned back uh, the chilli plants. I'm going to take them home. I'm going to see if I can overwinter them. We'll see anyway. Nothing lost if it doesn't work. But there you go. Um, I was going to do this as a quickie. I think it's going to be a little bit long. But anyway, I hope you're all uh, staying safe. Uh, my next job is to do some broad beans. So I'll do a little video about that. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please put a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And... Um, I need another 53 I think to get to 500 subscribers so if you know any friends or you know anybody that would like to watch me boring them to tears <laughs> please tell them um, I will be doing some music actually uh, coming in to Christmas on my trumpet um, so I'm going to be doing some practicing so hopefully I can do some Christmassy bits and pieces as well um, which might be nice, I suppose, if you, if you celebrate Christmas. I tend not to do a lot of celebrating Christmas, but I think this year, I think I will be be a change, but uh, especially when my daughter comes back from uni and malarkeys and all the rest of it that's going on at the universities now in uh, the good old UK. So apparently they're all going to be doing everything online now from December. So uh, cheers for the tuition uh, fees of £9,000. And, uh, and the uh, massive amount of money that my daughter's paying in uh, rent. And because it's private rent this year, she won't get her money back. It's a whole 12 month rent. So I'll pack her off back to Aberystwyth, I'm afraid. She can go and live there, get away from her dad. No, she can stop wherever she wants, but uh, anyway. Take, um, stay safe, like I said. Um, look after your loved ones, look after those vulnerables as well and uh, keep in touch with everybody and uh, keep the faith and I'll see you the other side of it. Cheers guys, bye bye.